Good evening. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will teach you how to bind a drop down list with enum type in ASP dot net core application. You can say a dot net core. So enum drop down list. I will explain you in three ways. First, to bind with the HTML dot uh, or you can say HTML tag helper class, and in the second phase, I will show you you can add manually items which is similar to the enum list. And third to bind a view back object or you can say view back variable. So first to create a model with enum type data. So add a class student as a demo. Add a enum type variable enum branch. In enum, we have four branches CSIT, ELEF, you can say mechanical, and in the student is belong to the branch of the type branch enum type. And the property name is also same that is branch. Okay. Now your model prepared. After that you can add a controller. The name of the controller is student con student controller you can say. Now come to the controller part. According to few seconds before few seconds I said in the first page I have to show a tag helper class. So I am showing here we have student controller with the index action method. Okay. Now generate a view for the index with the create template okay before adding any template or you can say before adding any view must to build your project there is no view here so first of all cut it Now again reopen it and check views there. Select template is for create. A model class is referred to the student model and we have not a context class. Okay. So this is the simple view of the view section, but here we have input type. It's not a select type. So convert that input, convert this input from the select. This is the simple HTML. 
or you can say drop down list of HTML control now ASP items is wrapper for uh, you uh, must to set ASP4 is related to your property and ASP items is referred to the HTML helper class tag helper class HTML dot get enum select list of the type branch so get is a capital G enum e capital and select list S and L capital okay and refer to the branch enumeration type okay now let's to check this is the first method to bind your drop down list with the enum type this is too much uh, too much uh, easy so set the startup file that is student con and the action method is same index run without uh, IAS load this is the too much simple example to bind your drop down list yeah that is there CSIT ELME is getting from enumerator type now come to the second page you can also use this in the view section do this manually so first of all remove this section that is ASP items uh, tag helpers you can say in the design time you can add some items like an HTML so set to manually some option in the select list option with the value words as value refer to the index number here and in between the option the enumeration value CSITELME CS now copy this and paste similarly CSITELEME sorry this is the second phase to load your drop down list in ASP.NET MVC let's to check now come to the third part make a view back object to get the uh, enumerated value by using code so first of all make a list this type new of the list type and the list make a select list item class similarly in the previous MVC control uh, MVC select list item a select list item is uh, available in ASP.NET core.mvc namespace now add item in the list with new 
select list item object so first of all add select item at zero index text is select and the value is null okay that's pretty simple now if you want to get all the value which is available in enum then use for each loop a for each loop having some parameter the first parameter refers to the data type that is the enum type that is branch and the last parameter contain the collection and we have a collection that is enum type enum dot get values and the type of that is enum is also branch get values type of branch now each item will getting from for each loop will added into the list okay so use a list it here branch dot add item the text value is getting from the enum dot get name type of branch and the object value is item now in the value section that is the text section actually and the value section is item dot to string okay now add a view back object and in the view back object pass branch oops make a variable branch one and pass that list to the branch one variable okay now in the view section ASP items refer to the view back object okay guys this is the uh, pretty much uh, easy example to bind a drop down list with enum type uh, if you want to some uh, if you want to have some queries please comment it and share it for your uh, friends if you like Please subscribe my channel for other videos please 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 subscribe my channel if you like okay that's it and share this video on Facebook Twitter LinkedIn, Reddit, etc. So thank you, thank you very much again.